Oregon's Attorney General is asking the legislature to step up the fight against elder abuse. Ellen Rosenblum says she's asking for more than half a million dollars to start a new elder abuse unit. And our Jennifer Dowling live in the newsroom to tell us about it. Jennifer? Good evening, Jeff and Jennifer. The Attorney General's office says the state needs to fund this new unit because reports of elder abuse are on the rise and the crime should be taken seriously. It's easy to get money out of people. It's easy to get money out of vulnerable people. In the argument to fund a new elder abuse unit in Oregon's state attorney general's office, AG Ellen Rosenblum is citing some pretty impressive stats. It's a true tragedy and it is not going away. She says in 2013, DHS received nearly 30,000 reports of elder abuse. Then in 2014, that jumped to more than 38,000. She says the unit may sound expensive at $670,000 over a two-year period, but she argues it's a lot of bang for the taxpayer's buck. Considering what we would be able to accomplish and how much we would save from the uh, nest eggs of our retirees who sometimes lose every penny and then have to go on the public dole, uh, it's a tremendous, ultimately a tremendous savings to the state and it's also the humane thing to do. Why not use current resources on your staff to tackle this? Well, I wish that we could do that. Um, unfortunately, we are pretty much um, resourced up to the up to the uh, e extremes of our ability right now. She says the new unit, a resource prosecutor and two investigator researchers, would assist local district attorneys in getting more criminals to prosecution. The reason this is so important is that we know that there are cases all over the state that aren't being made. She says of the 38,000 complaints last year, only 12,000 were investigated. 4,000 were substantiated, but she says very few were prosecuted. And the unit would operate under the DA Law Enforcement Assist Program, which already provides resources for DUI and domestic violence cases. She hopes to testify before the legislature about the need for this unit in the coming weeks. Back to you. Okay, so keep us updated on that. Thank you.